Um, and so in doing this, I had, a, I had a fishing partner. He was he was early 50s. We'd be out fishing, and he was just he was just this steadfast old man. And he'd go out there, and he would throw a jig. Anybody that fishes know what a jig is. He'd throw it for hours at one freaking cypress tree. And he would always just beat me. Every single time we went out, he'd beat me. And I asked him one day, I said, his name is Hondo. I said, Hondo, how, how do you always do it? And, and in his slow southern draw, his only reply, this is my living street board, his only reply was, boy, you got to have your mind right. And I sat there, I'm like, what the fuck is he even talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense. You know, I'm not going to throw in a crankbait and all these other things. And here we go, I told you I did it. So, um, uh, so I stepped back, and after I moved past that moment, it hit me. Man, the mind is, is pretty powerful. So when I was fishing, I would activate my mind more. I would pay attention more. I would focus more. And as you can tell me talking, I don't focus and pay attention well at all. And so I started doing that, and I got into the sport, and I realized that the sport has so much more to offer on the mental side. I, I swear to you, the sport, once you get the basics, is, is 80% minimal. Once you get the basics. Confidence. Uh, you know, desire, passion, all those words all fit on that mental side. So he said that and it stuck with me.